this is iFly RC's Revo B F4 micro flight controller and this one is uh, designed to run on race flight or beta flight using the uh, I believe they call it the AirBot uh, F4 firmware uh, that's the target for beta flight uh, so uh, this is a new FC from my flight RC uh, and it's, uh, it's one of the most powerful processors the F4 uh, it uses the uh, um, MPU 6000 uh, gyro so uh, that's one of the better gyros to use uh, they, they all work uh, pretty well uh, some have had issues with uh, uh, being too sensitive. I believe the 6050 had some issues, but uh, you know, if uh, if you have a vibration-free uh, build, uh, they they all work pretty well. Uh, so we'll see how this one works. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to do any. Uh, vibration dampening mounting you know I, I'm, I'm gonna try mount it, mounting it hard mount so hopefully it's not uh, one of those overly sensitive uh, gyros uh, they provide a pinout on the web on the product page uh, pretty well detailed um, about all the all the connections and it's uh, this one pretty much has pre uh, all the connections that you could possibly use. Uh, they have a uh, buzzer output. They have uh, uh, all the various UARTs. Uh, DSM uh, input right here with 3.3 .3 volts and they also have a uh, LED strip uh, connection there uh, S-Bus goes through there and uh, the ESC signals are are here so that's uh, that layout I guess is uh, when you have the ESCs on the arms. I'm gonna be using the foreign one, so I'll have to uh, solder the wires there and somehow route them to the side, which is where the um, where the foreign one board has the input. Uh, but uh, the pads they provide they're pretty pretty good. They're not tiny, so that that sh should be an e should be an easy solder. Uh, so overall, pretty clean board. Uh, it's pretty pretty good quality uh, build on the PCB, uh, and it seems okay. Yeah. So this is a this is a regulator. So uh, I believe you can connect this straight to battery, so you don't need a yeah, you don't need a you don't need uh, to have a, a regulator, so you could just mount it straight to battery, and it takes up to 4s. Uh, usually, I don't particularly like uh, connecting my FC straight to battery. I always uh, like to uh, uh, have a voltage regulator in between and just provide five volts and uh, usually I just uh, bypass the built-in regulator and just use a, a, a one of those DSUN uh, variable voltage adjustable regulators uh, those have worked very well for me so I, I've been using them all my builds I never had an issue so so I'll probably do the same for this one uh, so I'll uh, I'll hook this up to beta flight and see. Uh, I don't know what firmware it comes with. Uh, 
I'll hook it up to Betaflight and uh, if it doesn't have it I'll go ahead and flash it so this one will go on the uh, IX5 frame from my flight RC. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some uh, some modification to the mounting because this one is a uh, the for uh, the format is it's a mini it's a it's a mini board. It's not the typical uh, uh, layout. You know, it's it's smaller, so it won't. It won't fit. It won't match with the with the standard holes. Uh, so I have to find a way to mount it uh, either with the with the double-sided uh, foam tape that they provide or with the plate that they provide, and I'll drill some some holes. To use uh, nylon uh, standoffs. So anyway, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, find a way to mount it. Uh, so it looks like it comes with a clean flight, and it says uh, target is uh, Rebo. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash it with uh, Beta Flight. Uh, so I have that in all my all my uh, quads. So let's see how it flashes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it does. It flashes uh, pretty easy. Uh, so it said our target is Rebo. Let's see. So let's see how that flashes. Didn't flash, so it looks like I'm gonna have to use the uh, boot pins. Uh, so one good thing is these are uh, through holes, so it's pretty easy to uh, to short the boot pins. And yeah, it goes it goes to DFU mode. Uh, it doesn't start flashing right away, so you have to manually hit flash here. I noticed that earlier. And it was hanging on erasing, so why I, yeah, I think it's not gonna flash. So let's try that without with full ship erase. Uh, I'll put it on 115. Okay, so let's try that. And there it goes. So make sure you have uh, uh, full ship erase unchecked and short the boot pins. And it'll try and do that. Uh, it'll try and keep flashing. So uh, it does that once, but no worries. So that's the settings I use. I had a no reboot frequent sequence flash and connect. Full chip erase was unchecked. And uh, uh, I used just just manual baud rate of uh, uh, 115 200. And once you hook it up, it, it won't. F it didn't. F at least on my PC, it didn't flash automatically. Other p other computers m may do it uh, and then you 
just manually hit flash firmware. Uh, you, you do have to when you when you short the boot pins, it, it'll this will change to DFU. So you have to make sure it does. If it doesn't, that means you have some driver conflicts, and you have to uh, uh, use the SADIG uh, utility. Uh, but this one you have to be pretty careful. Uh, you have to you have to connect the uh, you have to short the boot pins and then connect it. So then you have to look for the. Um, You have to look. It has to. Sh it has to say uh, STM bootloader. So see there it is. Uh, it'll say STM bootloader, and uh, you gotta make sure you have the right drivers here. Uh, right now I have Win USB, uh, so I don't know if the one you need is. Uh, it's either the Win USB or the USB serial. It's one of those two. I forget. Uh, Joshua Barwell has a video where he goes through all these in detail, but I know it's one of those two. It's either Win USB or USB serial, and and you gotta make sure this says STM32 bootloader. So when you hook it up, when you use this sad dig, you have to. You have to hook up the the FC with the boot pads shorted, and then uh, STM32 bootloader will appear. Make sure it shows that, otherwise uh, you're gonna have all kinds of issues. Uh, so then you select that, and you'll see here it says driver. Uh, and you replace the driver here, and it's either Win USB or USB serial. I I'm not sure. You just watch that video by Joshua Bardwell, but it's one of these two, and those will work if you're having issues. You need to do that. Okay, so now we can uh, go into uh, Beta Flight and connect oh, uh, I guess I need to go back into and there we go it was in bootloader mode so so there we go it's a uh, Rebo target uh, beta flight 3.01 install uh, works pretty good So this is supposed to have, it says it's got a data flash of uh, 16 megabyte. Not a lot to do uh, um, logging, uh, but at least it's something. So let's see what ports, it's got uh, all the ports you are uh, USB, VCP, you are one, you are three and it says you are six interesting there's no you are two I wonder if the you are two is taken by uh, the DSM receiver uh, but no it wouldn't because you would need to select set it here that was the overview of the iFlight RC Revo V F4 micro flight controller uh, pretty loaded uh, board uh, it's a different size format so you gotta make sure it fits your frame but uh, it's a interesting board and we'll see how it flies